Coming up on the show, we talk about how we're streaming live mountain bike racing on Facebook. Plus, we've got a cross country racing legend, Nino Shirt, on the show. What? Oh, and Mr. Ashton gets his comeuppance. By Tom. Ah, it's the Dutch Show! Yes, welcome to the Dirt Shed Show with Chain Reaction Cycles, of course. And look, this week it's crazy. We've got Neil and Blake. Blake. Yeah, I Neil. know. I know. I'm just kidding. Um, how are you, boys? Good, thanks. Excellent. Yes, it's been a good week actually. We've got lots going on. There's a sea otter trip coming Ooh. up. Yes. You guys are off to the we're states. Gonna yep. We're going to be there. Um, we're going to be having stuff from uh, from that coming into the Dirt Dirt Shed Show next week. And which on will be amazing. Tech, there'll be loads of stuff there. Yeah, but you know what? Today we're talking about uh, how we're now streaming live yes. racing uh, the Profix Club a cup from Switzerland um, on our Facebook page. Um, it originates on the GCN Facebook page. Martin McDonald is commentating that racing, um, but you can find it on the GMBM page. Um, but this is amazing, right? Because this series is possibly the reason there's so many great riders coming from Switzerland. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a big yeah. race series. And it's yeah. crazy to be a mountain bike fan and be able to watch racing live. Do you remember when we were kids? Yes. <laughs> you yes, could watch just. it a few times a year on Eurosport if you had Sky. Didn't have Sky. Yeah. It's good to make Sky. Yeah. Yeah. Now you can watch yeah. it everywhere. Live yeah. racing. Live on racing. On demand as well. Incredible. Yeah, and it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's wicked racing um, now we were thinking how can we get you excited about this um, because the race has happened right so you can go back and now watch it the first round has happened um, the weekend just gone you can go back and uh, watch that retrospectively but the next round is coming up and someone who's gonna be in that round is none other than Nino Scher yeah like like Neil put that guy into perspective for me like how good is he well he virtually wins everything he races and of course this year so far the biggest race has been Cape Epic mm -hmm. and I watched a brilliant video actually the Scots behind the scenes mm. how the race was were on one with him and his brand new teammate Lars Foster yeah really interesting to see how much teamwork goes into that race as well yeah and yeah I can't wait to see him racing some cross country this year yeah um, and I tell you what Nino is so famous right mm -hmm. even Blake's heard of him I've heard of him it's incredible <laughs> Right. But enough of us, let's actually hear from the man himself, Martin McDonald, our live commentator. Well, he's a live commentator. He's alive. He's alive. He's but I mean, else. our live yeah. commentator for our GMBN mountain bike racing uh, spoke to him and here's what he had to say. Hi Nino, thanks very, thanks very much for joining us. We really appreciate your time. So what are you looking at ahead at 2019? What what are your main ob objectives this season and what in particular are you targeting? Yeah, for sure. World Championships again, uh, Mont saint -Anne, defending my title. Then the overall in the in the World Cup, um, defending my overall title. Then uh, trying to to beat uh, Julien Absalon in, in his records uh, with World Cup victories. I have now 30 uh, World Cup wins, he has 33, so I want to get closer to him this year. Um, yeah, and uh, one Highland was just uh, in South Africa with Cape Epic, uh, which is the one. And, uh, and in between, I'm doing those Swiss Cups. It's great preparation. Uh, it's, uh, it's always racing on the highest level and uh, helps me a lot to, to get in shape for the, for the World Cup races, yeah. How, how do you feel about the the short course qualifying in the in the World Cups, and and what impact potentially could a bad result there have on the of a, on the actual race? Yeah, it's the weekend's got much harder now. It's like it's a really tough race. Uh, Friday, um, yeah, twenty minutes all out. That's also a hard a hard uh, impact already. And uh, now you need also to focus on on recovery in between it's like really important you can as quick as possibly recover from that uh, short race and uh, I, in my opinion it's also important that you are not going too hard on friday because you're going to feel it on sunday so you need to somehow get through uh, get a good start position uh, without uh, leaving everything out there so that's that's quite the challenge and uh yeah i Probably also this year I try not to go too hard on the on the short tracks, not trying to win those, just try to get in top eight, to have a front row start um, and then uh, go all out on Sunday. 
best who would you say is the best bike rider the that you actually that you actually know maybe you with you skills that you've seen that 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 you wish that you could ride like and, and why do you think that they they're the best you can include yourself in that yeah, as well if you want <laughs> <laughs> yeah von der Poel is for sure a, a huge talent but he's yeah how he can compete on the road on cycle cross mountain bike he is uh yeah i think he's probably the only one that can do that like just jumping from one discipline to the other be top there and that's that's really impressive and uh, i would love to be able to do this as well like just jumping a bit around a bit going on the road and but yeah i feel i just don't have have the energy also in my head to do all of that <laughs> most of us have had one have you ever had uh, an embarrassing crash and, and and what was it yeah one i can can remember was uh, also in the downhill race i got way too far on a jump and then i i jump into the compression and i hit it with the uh, full face helmet i hit it the, the handlebar right here on uh, between my eyes and I had a really bad concussion and I had to stay in the <laughs> hospital and uh, yeah it was like probably my worst crash I had so far. <laughs> Is there a particular innovation in the way mountain biking has gone throughout your career that you feel has really is there one single one that you say has made the biggest difference? Yeah I think there are now a few a few uh, technologies that changed quite a bit like the beginning when I started was on 26 inch wheels with with V brakes, uh, and now we have disc brakes. It was a big change. Um, then to bigger wheels was a big change. Like now the suspension bikes, you can't actually compare anymore to the ones we were using, uh, yeah, 10 years ago. So uh, I think the bikes changed quite a lot in the past year. You always think, yeah, now, now you can't change anything more like it's it's almost perfect and five years later you look back and it's like ah, oh, those bikes from five years ago you, <laughs> you can't ride on the modern cross-country tracks and it's it's actually insane how, how quick it goes and uh yeah what what the innovation and the technology is bringing like now with the yeah. electronic electronic shifting it's changing again the, the whole thing your cockpit is looking completely different you have a completely new possibilities how you want to uh, adjust your cockpit and uh, it's also insane two years ago you couldn't imagine that so <laughs> how many bikes would you will you on average go uh, have in a season yeah i think it's a, about 12 bikes but most it's just because it's different colors so I mostly ride on world championships, I have a different color for next year or a special design. Um, and it's the same like for a Cape Epic, it maybe looks a bit different, but the bike is actually uh, the same. So I'm racing on the Scott Spark, the full suspension, or the Scott Scale, that's the hardtail. And then I uh, yeah, have just different bikes for training and racing and sometimes different colors. And back home, I'm I'm using a lot also my road bike or my my ransom. That's a trail bike, that I really enjoy to ride as well to to go up in the mountains and ride a bit more uh, difficult trails and a bit bit faster. Yeah. What's the best piece of advice you've ever been given? The best piece of advice. Mm. <laughs> uh, don't take it too serious. Everything, everything in life like yeah just uh take it as a game and play it as good as possible okay so well thanks very much for your time we really appreciate it we're we're all massive fans of yours and uh we wish you all the best for 2019. thank you thanks for the nice chat and uh yeah see you God! How he, he's super calm, but when yeah. he gets on a bike, he's an explosive monster that he wins is, everything. He is. He's very cool, isn't he? He's, he's very he cool. monster on a bike. Yeah. It's time for this week's Mountain Bike News. 
Cheers for that guys, but big news kicking off this week in mountain biking all over the globe. But first things first, we got the Australian downhill champs kicked off. I checked out uh, Troy Brosnan's Instagram and saw he was having an amazing time out there. Of course, looked dry and dusty and no surprise, he took the win with the uh, 3.18 seconds, uh, so smashed it there. Dean Lucas was in second place. He was 2.2 seconds back. And rounding out uh, the top three, Connor Fearon was 3.6 seconds back as well. So it looked an amazing course, super dry and dusty. And then moving on to the women's, it was no surprise to see uh, Tracy Hanna taking the lead, uh, absolutely smashing it with a 3.52 seconds. Uh, but close on her heels was Sean Ahern, just 0.5 seconds back, so really, really close. I definitely uh, think that probably made Tracy work pretty hard for that. And of course, rounding up top three was Tegan Malloy as well, so it looked an epic race, really good work to all those guys winning their Australian national champs jerseys. Now I've been checking out a brand that you might not have heard too much about on the internet and it's called Spot and they've just launched their Rive bikes, the 115 and the 100 uh, series bikes. They're looking really cool and what I like about this brand is their forward thinking on suspension design. Something that we haven't seen is um, a leaf spring added. Instead of the lower linkage, they've added a carbon leaf spring in there. It's called the Living Link. And apparently, so Spot say, it adds a lot more pop to jumps, actually helps you clear technical terrain and just makes the ride a lot, lot lively. I really like what these guys are doing. Worth checking out that for sure. Now, zip wheels are a big, big name when it comes to road biking, but they're back in mountain biking after a 20 year break and they've brought some pretty exciting stuff to mountain biking. They've launched the 30 Moto wheel, which is a single wall carbon wheel that's designed to take the sting out the trail. But Blake and Doddy have been checking it out. Check this video out now. Well, the motocross rim has been the same for as long as I can remember. Simple as it can be, with a single wall design making it strong, but yet a compliant as well. Now, in the cycling industry, they have used this, but it's considered as a budget option, made out of steel and generally very, very heavy, where weight is no, no matter for the bike because it's, got, it's powered by a motor, but it is when it comes to a human-powered mountain bike. However, the use of carbon fiber, <laughs> that changes everything. So meanwhile, back to some racing results. This weekend saw the Pan American Championships kick off out in Mexico, and we saw Kate Courtney dominating the women's race, taking the win by a big, big margin there. Whilst in the men's race, we saw Rafael Gagne taking the win, and he had chased that title for six years. So I think Rafael definitely deserved, deserved taking that win. Good work, Rafael. Now, Italian suspension giants Mazzocchi have relaunched the Z2 fork. Now, back in the day, I think it was 1997 this fork first came out. It was a big, big player, and for good reason too. It was an amazing fork, but it's back and they've re-released it. The great things about this fork is that they haven't gone over the top on all the adjustments. So you haven't got little dials everywhere to be faffing about without on the trails. It's got every adjustment you should ever need on there. It's basically a fit and forget fork as always from Ozoki. 34 mil stanchions, 150 mil travel. And it's coming in at $499. So a really, really good option from Ozoki. Been another exciting week. Nice, mm -hmm. nice, like that news. Results. Um, yeah, right, I've got a question for you, Neil, and you, Blake. <laughs> right, quiz time, yep. right, and you guys can play along at home. Right, we had Nino Scherter on the top of the show. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, right, so how many times has Nino Scherter won the Swiss Mountain Bike Championship? 23 times. Is that your answer? Yeah. All right, 23 from Blake. I'm going to say, often when people get to the top, they stop doing their national. Whoa, whoa, he knows his business. Go on. Probably five. Five. Right, you guys, have a think. Whilst you're doing that, let's take a look at some <laughs> fails and bails, and I'll give you the answer in a moment. I feel so bad, safe.
bang, 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 bang. Huh? Crash, crash, crash. I'm surprised that guy's elbow didn't go through his chest. Oh my god. So bad, so bad. What are you guys doing? Right, before the uh, little fails and bells break there, I asked you uh, how many times has Nina Schurter won the Swiss Man by Championships? 23 times. Blake says 23. Five. Neil says 5. You guys say... Yes, you're right! Four. Oh, I was Not as many off. as you think, is it? Close. But if you think of some of the people who he'd have been up against, especially earlier on, like uh, Christoph Sauser, he would have been riding those, in that. Them, uh, yeah. Much earlier days, I suppose Thomas Frischneck must have won that a load of times. Yeah, before Neil. Yeah, no. Yes, yes, but the, the, the generations of riders that have led to such great Swiss riders have started Swiss, back there yeah. with, with people like... Um, you like the Swiss? Yeah. yeah, I mean, they've got some incredible riders. Not that many good downhillers. Uh, Claudio, Glory. Yeah. Good yeah, free yeah. riders. Can you name Swamp another Star Swiss downhiller? Well, I... No, I can't. There must be some. I can't must, think yeah. of them off top my... Who? Hard Van Nick Beer, no, is he Swiss? French. Nick Beer is Swiss, I think. Yes. Yeah, good, good, good shout. Well, good shout, James. Someone's, good shout. Someone's so yeah. strong. Not yeah. as stupid as he looks. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they're jumping. Yeah, so... Um, that's Swedish. That's Swedish. <laughs> that's different. <laughs> There's even a map over there. I like, know, yeah. Uh, enough of this. Right, let's go to send the week. We did the send or fail game last week. That Brilliant. went very well. It was good fun, yes. actually. Yeah. This time, it's all about sends. No fails in this bit. Ooh. I see it. There might be one. Oh. <laughs> Some great sends. I love sends because we can all play it. Yeah. We can all play it. We can all push ourselves that little bit. Mm, um, make yeah. sure you keep your sends coming into the uploader. Uh, links in the description down below. Uh, Neil, did you have a favourite send this week? Well, uh, Chris sent it. It was a bit sketchy. Ooh, oh, bit that slow. low front or end. Riding Ooh. angle five. We raced the World Cup down on that years ago. Yeah. Uh, I would yeah. say Chris go a little bit quicker. Yeah. Because that'll stop me from a drop in. Yeah. At the moment, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah, got away with it though. Mm -hmm. Got away with it. Yes. Um, and there was Troy, proper Oy. big set. He don't sent it. Troy, don't go any quicker. <laughs> don't go any quicker. <laughs> the opposite. You're being failed. Yeah, yeah. Sure. that is an opposite. Uh, yeah, it was a pretty serious uh, huck, That's that a one. proper sand, though. Liked it. Right, it's time for Hacks and Bodges. Hacks and uh, welcome to this week's Action Bodges. Of course, it's a hundred pounds chain action back up oh, for the best one. Yes. And I'll kick it off with Richard in Cormayeur, so ski resort. Mm -hmm. Yes. He's used yes. a quick release skewer from old bikes, basically make skis. Oh, this is now. amazing. Cool. This pram. Look at That's it. That's cool. That is so That's good. That's a hack. That is it? so good. I want so it's not strictly speaking cycling, but it's cycling tech it's that has allowed is is pram action out on the ski slopes. No, that's proper well made, isn't it? That is really, really cool. cool. Really cool. Oh, look, look at, at the that. photos of him. Oh, that's bombing. actually genius. Oh. That is actually genius. Can you get fat prams? Fat tire prams. Oh, fat I'm I'd sure you can. Someone must them. have done that. That's a very good hack and gotta be a high high on the list of winning some money right mm -hmm. now. Wrong. Mm -hmm. I would have thought. Mm -hmm. yep. Um we've also got uh Nicholas. Who has got this great hack? He's in I like this Sweden. A lot. Yeah, he's well. in Sweden, Blake. S Sweden. Um, yes. Oh, no. Now, oh. let me just get you, because we've only, well, printer didn't work today, so we're looking at our hacks and bodges in digital world, right? Um, and uh, what Nicholas did was replace the grips on his bike, and uh, they were too thin, um, but like he reused that, yeah. them by making his own little handheld mount for his GoPro. What? He has 3D printed that. That is, is a 3D print, so he's fitted that in there. That is very, nice. very cool. That's, 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 that's Yeah, hack. that's very smart, because that's that makes the camera use, uh, <laughs> what do you call that? Selfie stick. Selfie stick yeah, kind of thing. I like it. It's uh, very good. Very last good. but not least, chess one. This is Russ in Bavaria. Loves hacks and bodges. So. Oh, nice. Uh, he's made his own bodge here. Yeah, he's, he wanted an under the under the bar shift style remote for his drop and yeah. post. Yeah. so he made one. What's that? It's an old Manitou. What? I don't know what that yeah, is. Yeah, cable. Uh, it's like a lockup for. A he's a bit of an old bar. 
chopped it down, cut it down. It it's looks very like a, neat. It's a bit of a bodge, but it's yeah. done the trick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. I mean, it's not neat. I mean, it's like neat, neat. It's man. neat, neat. Yeah. Um, I so, tell you what, and look, he's got a little bit of video. Proves it works. Yeah. Wow. Nice. Nice. Definitely works. Nice. Uh, God, that's hard this week. We've got to give away £100 to one of these guys. Um, it's Nicholas, Russ or Richard. I am deciding, because I'm in the bad books for, for like the Dirt Shed show this week. Right? I so, think Russ in Bavaria, who's made his own drop post remote, that's ingenious. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't look as pretty as I like it maybe that. could, but it's great. It's good. £100. He could buy that drop is enough. fantastic. Yes, yeah, maybe get maybe get a new uh, addition to the bike using it. Let us know what you get with it. That mm. would be really good to know. Um, if you've got a hack or a bodge and you want a chance of winning 100 pounds, make sure you send it in. Go to the uploader. We want your videos, we want your pictures, and we definitely want your hacks or your bodges, and of course, bike vault photos. So don't miss out on getting involved in the show yourself. Right, now it's time for caption contest. Now, I was slightly off my game last week, right? Um, you're gonna know more about that when we get to the bike vault, but we know that I was off my game last week, Neil, mm -hmm. and you didn't know, it's because we didn't do the caption contest. Oh. So we haven't got any caption contest results from last week. My bad, my bad. Oh, but we've got a great photo for this week's caption contest. Check this out, it's a weird one. <laughs> it's gonna challenge you. It's gonna challenge you. Brand. Yes, I wanna it's see some captions brand. for that. That's actually not easy, but it's got a name of Blake in it. It's Brake Pads, who knows? Don't know what you're gonna do with it. It's your chance to win a GMB and water ball just like that one behind Jack's head. Incoming! Hey. There it is. That guy, that guy cannot can't, throw. Cannot, cannot throw. throw. Um, yes, yeah, it's you your chance to win this. Um, just like the one Neil uses. Um, so yeah, let us know your captions um, in the comment section down below. Get involved. <laughs> nice little break in the show now to just give you a chance to make sure you have subscribed to GMBN. Mm -hmm. Have you done that? I have. Everyone, if you haven't, why not? Come on, join the gang. Um, right, and let's take a look at what you guys have been saying on the channel this week. Um, under last week's Dirt Shed show, um, we had a comment from a certain Daniel McCaskill. Yeah. The, the Danny. The Danny Mac. I call him Danny. The, yeah. He, I call him Danny. We announced last week he started his own YouTube he channel. Has. There's a teaser video up that's just like, here's all the stuff I've done. It's okay, I guess. Seen it, seen uh, it. Yeah. Uh, but there's a video coming, and he definitely confirms that in his comment saying, um, I may have a little something to share with you very soon. Ah ha ha. That's not actually how he laughs. Uh, <laughs> but that video is coming. So we don't we don't know. Ar, ar, Can we ar, see a Scottish laugh? Ar, 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 ar. No, that's Haggis laugh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Neil we'll see him, it's yeah. We will be, oh, yeah, he yeah. will be. I'm not going. Yeah. You're on holiday. No, I'm not allowed to go. You're on holiday. No, I'm not, because I was bad last week. Um what who else have we had commenting on the channel? We, Neil. Uh, Mitch Spunk says, I think Martin has to recalibrate his brain. If 200 people say it's nice, just nice. I mean, how's that? That's how democracy works. Oh right, okay. So, Martin, my, yeah. you've been telling people off as well. You've been telling people off, Mr. Ashton. Yeah, one uh, thing I've learned is don't snag off people's bikes in the bike vault. We're coming to it, Neil. Okay. We're coming to it. My 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 mood is darkening because we're getting there. It so on sucks. Instagram, on our stories, we often do a nice or super nice, so you can uh, decide yourself mm. if the bikes in the bike vault that week on the dirt shed are nice or super nice. Yeah, yeah you can now play yeah. along in the story, so don't miss out on the opportunity to do that either. Okay. Every time. It's very funny. Put nice. the same answers I do in the dirt show. Yeah, yeah, it's you very don't. funny. Wow, it's very funny. Your it chance could change. To... Your mood could change. Your... Yeah, well, yeah, True. yeah. Um, right now, let's take a look at what's coming up on the channel this week. We've got some big videos coming. I see here on my schedule. Um, how to be stylish on your bike? Wow. Who did we get to do that? Not me. <laughs> it wasn't, not me. It not, wasn't not, any... not me. No, really. Here, how did we do that video? find out. All right, we'll see. Um, we've got Blake's South American trip vlog number oh, yes. three. That's coming out. Number yeah. two. Number two. No, number two, yes. sorry, my number bad. Three. I, I was a bit late, because you know, late. I was yeah. a bit late. And, and we will then start getting some footage from you guys in CR. We're gonna have an Ask the Pros, will be the first video coming yeah. in from CR next week. Big event, really kicks off the season. Can't I know wait. Neil loves it, and you, are you into it? You, I like it, I'm yeah. competing. Eh? Yeah, 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 and you're hanging out with a few Seth. And Seth all Bike those Hats, yes. Pilgrims, and BS. everyone. Sounds all right. Gonna be ace, it's a big week for GMBN next week, so make sure you don't miss the stuff that's coming up. Right. 
Dun, dun, dun. That's the official apology coming. Oh, for man, being... this is bad. Right, I'm going to start this off. It's the bike vault time, so let's see the slate. Bike vault. Right, so last Capture week... Capture contest! Oh, yeah, no! no. Not this now, is Jack. Serious, Jack. Misfiring. This La is last serious. last week on the on the bike vault, I, I, I don't know why I did it. I sort of do know why I did it, because I'm childish, right? I slagged off someone's bike. Jem, I I'm oh, I feel so bad about it. Um me and Neil were messing around. I quite often use a cutting kind of humor to kind of break the moment and have a bit of a giggle. I did that in the bike vault. Um huh? I mean it's flipping horrible. <laughs> Let's face it, I don't oh. like the, the the tubes are going in all sorts of different directions. I, it almost looks like it's upside down. But I f hate it. Bit controversial. It's funny in the room, I mean. Time and a place, Mike. But it's it smart. didn't work. It didn't work, right? I should have watched the Dirt Shed edit when it was finished, but I was too lazy to do that, so I didn't catch it. And and this, I, what I should have done is seen it. And said, nope, that shouldn't go in. Jem's should... bike should go in next week and I'll do it properly. I'm sorry, Jem, is what you need to say? No, I feel awful about it. I literally was up last night, three o'clock in the morning, thinking about this. I've sent Jem a message. Have you? But I want you all to know that I don't want you to send your bikes into the bike vault and think we're going to slag it off. That's not what we're here to do. No. I did it as a joke. It didn't work. <laughs> you guys told me in the comments section. And to punish me, and I need to be punished, right? Oh! And I want to prove, right, that actually, Jem's bike went on the Instagram stories. 25% of you said it was super nice, so I was clearly wrong. 28%. 28%. Sorry. Oh, God. Sorry, Jem. I'm just killing this. <laughs> right. My punishment is I don't get to play the bike vault this week. Yes. Ooh. You just have to ring the bell. You're on bell duty. No, I don't no, get to do, no, no, I don't no, get to do that. nothing. No, I, I don't get to do nothing. Yeah. So we're going to play the bike vault this week. Martin. And I'm out. <laughs> Naughty corner. Right, you're not allowed to get involved, Martin. That's terrible. You can't even get in. You can't even touch the bow. Ah. Oh, let me see it. <laughs> no, this is really nice. Come on, right, number one. Hector is oh, an Ibis Mojo no, HD3. Look at that. The MVs on that thing, dude. Describe it, then. Like. Not screen. It's 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 no, you're not getting involved. MV rims, that's super nice. Super nice. <laughs> Bang, right? Oh, that's the talk. That's the alley one, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, what? That's the aluminium I'm not one. Sitting there, this is that Sweden. Is, that well, is okay. Not Sweden. Super nice for sure on that. Yeah, no, you, you can't see that it. It's brown spanking. Oh. oh, trail dog! Don't look. Got it. <laughs> that's uh, super nice. Stumpy. Plus size. Oh, yes. Don't see many plus points. Right. Super nice. What? Whoa. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that. It's the old Schwinn homegrown, the URT bike. Do you remember those? They're terrible. But it's I nice. had those tyres, though. Yeah, yeah, I, asked, I had, had the Pana racers. Pana racers. Nice. Well, I think they're super nice. Cool. Yeah. Those, are, those old Schwinn paint jobs are amazing. Super nice? Go on. Nice. I quite like that one. URT. No, can't even see it. Oh, what's that? Oh, wow. Look at that. What Sedona. is that? Utah? Sedona, Arizona. Arizona. Hightower LT, I, Santa I've Cruz. been there. Oh, I've been there, mate. This is from Bill, who had his hip replaced in oh. January 2019. God, that's not long ago. That's, that's nice. Don't get okay, well soon, Bill. Get Bill. well. Get well. Super nice. Super nice. Wow, we got a tight. Whoa, oh my. There's a lot of good super bikes that's in this. Isn't that it? water bottle. That's one of those fabric water bottles. Rocky Mountain Instinct BC Alloy 50s. This is in Sussex. Oh, that's nice. Nice. It's nice. 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 Oh, Curtis! Is that titanium? Is that titanium? You don't get to see them much, oh, do you? Neil sounds so interested. So it's a. Uh, it looks titanium to me. It's got me. Hard tail. That's cool. That is really cool. That's super nice. Go Two on. by as well. Super nice. No, don't <laughs> take. Hang on. What is that? This is, this is gems on one Titus. Oh, oh speak. No. Super nice. That is oh, super God. nice. Three. Oh, snow, two bikes though. There's a coat. Nah, nice. 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 It looks like a fun car. I can't really tell nice. what those bikes this is are. Marius, uh, one Santa Cruz, and a. I don't know what that is. I can't see. Nice. Norco, maybe? Nice. Ooh. Giant Hartel. Uh, oh no. Uh, Giant Hartel. That's quite XTC. small, Neil. Oh, the brand. <laughs> this is Ballyhura Mountain Trails. Island. Nice. Nice. Oh, well. oh hello. Computer said no. It was kind of weird. <laughs> computer said no. Oh, super nice straight away from me. Neil. Fatty Samuel's fatty. Got to like it. Minneapolis, Minnesota. Nice. It's got a reflector on front. It's got it. a reflector on. That's just spotted. That. This sucks. Nice. nice. Giant rain. 
Ooh. Uh, New Zealand. Look at the depth of field on that. Oh, That's a nice super picture. nice picture. Super nice bike. Super nice bike. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, let me see. No. Nope. Look at uh, that. It's got voltage. Mate, Paint uh, job on that. Oh, custom, a I love a custom bike. To no. so repaint the bike. That's quite oh, super nice. Nice one, Jack. You've done a good job there. It's really good. Oh. And the matching bar <gasps> and triple cranes. Super nice. Super nice. One more. Oh. That's is, uh, oh, that's one of my Look at that size of that bucket. What bucket? What's a bucket? <laughs> the digger bucket. This is a what? Conway. I don't know what this is. I've never heard of Conway. Is it got, it doesn't even look like it got a shock. It looks like there's a linkage there. It can't really tell. Uh, can the you? shock is sort of in the seat tube. It like, yeah. goes through the seat oh, tube. Yeah. I think that's cool. Nice. 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 Right, that's Oh, we're out of the bike, well <laughs> That was the best one ever. That wasn't it just? Keep yeah. sending your bikes the uploader. Hopefully, Martin won't slag them off. Yeah, Martin. And we'll give you a nice or super nice. <laughs> also, don't forget to get involved on Instagram because it'll be up there on our stories. There we go. Great bike vault. I deserve that. Yes, um, you did. Uh, before you guys go, uh, I want to put a shout out to the GMB and shop. We've got some amazing race tops that have been very, very popular. Good jersey. Um, definitely get your chance to go in and get one of those. There's lots of different colours of this camo version. Um, and Neil, I quite like that. It's I think I like warm. that. It's yeah, very, very nice. warm. Uh, you can also get the uh, the classic zippy hoodie in also, there. Also, you can get socks to match your race jersey as well. <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah. So make sure you don't miss out on the chance of going over to the GMB and shop because we really appreciate your support. Um, it helps us go and make our videos. Um, what could we send these guys to if they've not had enough today? Well, <laughs> our new presenter on GMB and Tech, Henry, has yes. been over in oh, Rotorua yeah. talking to the pros uh and get some funny answers actually from people like brendan mm -hmm. uh ed masters oh man asking them some funny questions mm -hmm. yeah so it's right, a good video check that out what about you blake Ooh, what are you the people death grip one click over here because we have filmed death grip two which will be coming <laughs> very soon <laughs> and it's gonna be a it's quite scary. It's going to be funny. Yeah, yeah, click on the old globe there to subscribe if you haven't done it. Give us a thumbs up, like, and we will Good see time. you next week. See ya.